So after actually looking around, I realized that there was no tutorial on how to do this, and so I thought, like, literally spur of the moment, I would throw one together to show you how to do it. Um, if you notice on some maps, and it's hard, sometimes hard to tell as to which ones have this ability, you'll see that there's kind of like a fog in the distance. A lot of games have that, and SFM technically works from a game engine. So the further you are from the focal point of the camera, you can see that there's actually like a visible fog there that kind of hides everything in a distance and just kind of becomes a singular color. Uh, some maps like this, like, not always going to look the best from the distance. Well, you actually have control of this. Uh, you can control the colors that are... And not only that, but the distance that fog has. Um, and I, so I can kind of show you to do that. But like I said, this doesn't work on all maps. Like this one, uh, this is a desert test map, just like the grassland field look. Um, this one has a fog controller in it, so it works. Not all maps do. Uh, even if it's not visible, they might have an inactive one. So you can still try this to see if it works. Uh, to do it, it's not difficult, um, but there are some little drawbacks to it. So I'll just show you quick how to do this. First thing is you cannot modify it within like normal SFM here. You have to go into game mode. If you don't know how to do that, you can hit F11 on your keyboard and it'll pop you into game mode here. So now I'm actually running around kind of as a scout from PF2. Now I have access to this. So if you go and hit your tilde key, this will open up the console. Uh, in there, all you have to type in is just five letters is fog UI. So it's fog user interface. If you hit enter, it's going to open up a new little screen here. You can just hit tilde to kind of make everything else go away. You drag this up. This is your fog override panel. So you can still kind of move within this, but you kind of lose your mouse control. But if you go and hit fog override here, you're going to notice everything is going to go black because it puts it to default value of one on everything. If you do not have a fog controller in the map that you're in, when you hit fog override, nothing will happen. Uh, so you'll know then that you're not going to have the ability in the map. But in this one, I do. So right now, everything's set to just black colors. So if I go and increase this end distance, you can see the fog distance increases. And if I choose the start point, I can actually kind of like shrink it to a specific, like kind of a sharp line off of the distance or even kind of invert it a little bit. Um, so you can make it so that it starts really close. And in the everything starts disappearing or you can basically get rid of it and just throw away at max distance so it's kind of up to you um, and then on the side here put these back to some more manageable values um, is your colors so you can go and make them red uh, green or in the case like this if you want to try to make it match with the sky you might actually try to put it up towards a color that better matches the sky here so like say you want to go a little bit kind of like a, a yellowish look and uh, it's a little brighter, maybe a little too bright there. So I'm not gonna try to make this perfect, but say like around there, you could. You will notice in this one though that there's still black back there. This map has something called a 3D skybox. So if I actually get out of game mode here, you'll see that now that fog actually is that color. Um, is there's still black back here? If you don't know what a 3D skybox is, I have to figure out which side it is. Oh, it's actually on the side. If we go outside the map here, you can actually see there's a little bit of like a scale model. This is. A one, I think 130, 132 scale, or 132nd, however you say that, uh, off, off the map. You can actually place things in here, and it will pop up really big in the sky. But this this has its own different um, fog layer. So when you're back in the fog UI here, that's what this one is. So if you actually turn that off, you can actually see the actual hills now. But you could actually try to match it up. So like I'm going to go and put this at about the same value, 205. 196, 137, there, and voila, now you have, at least in, uh, to a degree, a more realistic fog for the distance, instead of that grayish, and this works on any map that has that, so if you go in there and you hit override and it, this pops up and you can see the, the, you can play with the levels, that works. The one downside to this though is if I save this and I reopen it, all those values are reset, like gone. So, you're going to want to have to write these down if you find a good value to work with. One of the things I recommend is when you're in the main clip here, in your shot, in like or just one of these shots, if you right click it, go to edit clip, and then go to set clip text, any text you put here, like text here, is going to be put in the little... Uh, inside the blue area here of your shot, you could put your fog values there. And then it's saved on the file so that you can look down here and if you actually need to preview it, you can go and pull up those values, go back in your fog UI and reset them. It's a little bit of a hassle to do that, 
um, but it's it's because these are set to the software, not to your map. So if I actually close this map and go to another one that has a fog controller, it will maintain those override values, which can get a little weird. So, uh, and if you ever just want to shut them off, just go bam, hit fog override, and now you're back to the uh, the default values. So, so that's it's something really simple, and but actually really comes in handy, especially on this map, especially this map. Uh, but if you, there's a couple out there like with Scott that have just skyboxes or a bunch of different things that are that have a fog controller and you don't know it because you can't see the fog but if you go in there and you just just give it a shot go and type it in hit fog override and if suddenly everything starts changing to black you have that control and it's amazing actually what that control can do so yeah this is a quick one like no preparation just throwing it out there so I hope they find that useful or you found it useful I found it useful too so thanks